but they don't belong in the newsroom. This just in, scientists discovered that Canadian bacon is actually ordinary ham. This made a lot of people very angry and has been widely regarded as a bad news. Miserable bloody moment, no sense of humor. Who was what Dr. Ashland just said to you? Do you concur? Don't talk to it, Mary. Don't encourage it. We're just like Kevin Bacon. The only thing that will redeem mankind is cooperation. I think we can all appreciate the relevance of that now. Welcome back to The Hollywood Thumb, a short-form movie news podcast brought to you by the parent podcast, It's Just Two Movies. My name is Daniel King, in the studio with me this evening... Jackson. Jackson. Uh, so we're going to do the news, but first off, I do want to say that we are working with some new equipment here in the studio today, and I'm also a little bit under the weather, so if I sound any can, like congested, uh, sorry about the way that I sound. If there's any like weird snotty noises in post that I fail to clean up, uh, sorry, you yeah. know, I'll figure it out. I'm going to blame the new equipment too, because I just sound weird, so... Well, you know, it's uh, it's all new stuff, new <laughs> setup. We're kind of trying a new way of doing it um, um, from, from the get-go. But let's go ahead and get into the news. Sad news up top. Let's get it out of the way. Uh, Cormac Roth, son of famous actor Tim Roth, has died at the age of 25. Man, uh, he had a long battle with stage 3 germ cell cancer. Uh, super unfortunate to be taken so young, and evidently he was uh, quite quite the accomplished musician. So Damn. obviously that's a that's a huge bummer. Um, Twenty five with cancer, that kind of that sucks, man. Yeah, germ cell cancer. I don't even know what that is. That sounds terrible, though. It sounds like you know cancer, real bad cancer. It sounds like, like tiny cancer all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Uh So anyway, let's get into some other sad shit. How about uh, if you you a big fan of Westworld? You you ever check out Westworld on HBO? Because if you loved it. It's canceled, baby. Yeah, so I followed it for a couple seasons, and then uh, it got confusing, so I stopped watching it. <laughs> okay, but I did like I did like it. And yeah, then I think it probably it's probably a good time to cancel. I heard nothing but good things about it, but I never went in on it. I just never went in on it and watched it. But I I don't think I ever heard a single person say a bad thing about it. It did get confusing. Maybe it's just me, but I thought I was like, uh, what are they trying to go for now? Like, yeah, I don't know. Point. But that, that's weird, though, man. It seems like a very widely successful show. And just after four seasons, that's normally where you finally got some running room. I think they ran out of story. Yeah, that uh, that very or, well that very well could be. The or case. they just started making up stuff. I was like, what are I don't, you doing? I have no idea how long the original Westworld ran. Uh, or was I, it just a movie? Is the original content just a film? That's a good question. I will look that up. Okay. Let's find it. We'll find out here in just a moment. While Jackson is looking that up, speaking of other series, is, is uh, The Sandman on Netflix is getting a season two renewal, which, I mean, that's not much of a surprise to me. Every, everybody that uh, said anything to me about it was like, oh, man, it's great. And I, I couldn't bring myself to watch it because it just doesn't look like something that's for me. Yeah, so I I started watching The Sandman uh, just out of curiosity because it I thought it kind of looked interesting. It does. Um, it does sound like the title card. When I read the thing, I'm like, that sounds pretty cool. And then I'm like, look at this guy with his goth haircut. And I'm like, I don't know if that's, yeah, I don't know if that's up my alley. So the concept's pretty cool, but I don't know how the execution is on it. Hmm. Um, like I got into like four or se four episodes of it and then I kind of just faded off. So I, maybe I didn't give it a fair shake. Um, I, I liked, I've liked each episode. It's just like, I kind of didn't hold my interest. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I get that. It's like, I don't want to watch another one. Uh, did you find the Westworld? <laughs> uh, so the original Westworld was 1973 movie. It was a fi film. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. And it was uh, a robot malfunction creates havoc and terror for unsuspecting vacationers at a futuristic adult themed music park or a music right. park. Yeah. 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 So. Okay, well, yeah, that's uh, that. that those we should are, watch that. Sometime. Those are two things that are happening: the Westworld, the movie. Yeah, yeah, I'd be down for that. That sounds like a fun one for. Uh, it's just two movies. So Aubrey Plaza uh, joins the cast of Marvel's Agatha: Coven of Chaos, uh, which is, I know you're not really up on all the MCU stuff, so you recall that they made a show called WandaVision. Yeah, um, I'm not. I don't have Disney Plus, so I'm a little behind. That's okay. So that in that show, the 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 big baddie is this uh, Agatha, who's like another witch or whatever. Uh, and then she's getting a spinoff show, I believe. Is but, she a uh, badass? 
Oh, she's all right. It's a, it's like, Catherine what, Hahn. What kind of vibe does she give off? Like It's the actress Catherine Hahn. Who's that? Look her up. <laughs> oh, she does look like a witch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's cool though. Like Catherine Hahn's very funny. She's funny in um, she's funny in Wandavision, and uh, you know I'm I'm looking forward oh, to, yeah. to more content of her. I, th- I think she'll be great. Okay, but uh, yeah, Aubrey Plaza. They've attached her to the the series that Catherine Hahn's going to star in. I guess. Nice. You fan of Aubrey Plaza from Parks and Rec, probably most notably. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Okay. <laughs> Riveting stuff, folks. <laughs> Uh, so speaking of Marvel, they have also <laughs> cast Yahya Abdul Mateen the second. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly, uh, but he's going to be the lead role in the Wonder Man series. There's a Wonder uh, Man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Since oh, hell when? yeah! Since like the fucking sixties. Was Wonder Man before Wonder Woman? Oh, pff. what came first, the chicken or the egg? You know what I'm saying? Is that a thing, Wonder Man? Yeah, it doesn't even sound right. Dude, Wonder Man's been around forever. Don't even worry about it. Anyway, rumors indicate that they might also get Bob Odenkirk for this show, mm. which I th- I think the Marvel shows need to kind of change their dynamic. They're they're losing me. I don't know if they're for me, but they're starting to lose me. Like I'm getting irritated that I have to watch them. Kind yeah. of. Yeah. Uh, and I will watch them. I will watch them for this just so I can maintain continuity through the Marvel series of movies that we do on. It's just two movies, but. That's what happens, though. God damn, it's a lot of TV, uh, bro. Yeah, that's, and that's, some of it's pretty mediocre. It's a lot. That's what happens when you get such a big, um, a big stream of, like, I don't know, revenue sources for, from, like, just source material, and they just milk it for everything they got. That's fair. Yeah, that's a fair assessment. It's like, and, uh, uh, does this story really matter? Mm. Yeah, it feels like <laughs> no. a lot of it feels like a lot of what they're doing. Um, I just I, freshen it up, you know. Go go back to giving me two or three movies a year. I think I've, I've been beating that drum forever. I say it on the show all the time. I'm like, yeah. less is more. Less is more. Sometimes, you know what I mean. That's not, I'm not the first person to coin that phrase. Less is definitely more. Sometimes, yeah, quality over quantity. Exactly. You know. But uh, let's see here. What else? What else we got in the news? We've got uh, Friday the Thirteenth is getting a prequel series called Crystal Lake. It's going to be in development from Brian Fuller, and uh, I do believe I read this is going to be done under the umbrella of A24. So, hold up. A prequel to Friday the 13th. I don't want to ruin anything for anybody. I think you, I think Friday the 13th is fair game. But, like, Jason's mom was the original killer. Right. So... Is that what this is going to be? I have no idea. I have no idea. This is literally all the information I know. That they're making it. It's called Crystal Lake. It's going to be done by Brian Fuller. And I think it is being made under the umbrella of A24. Okay. I'm, I'm Which interested. Which would be great. I mean, I think you're going to get a quality product coming from that studio. I'm interested. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, uh, it, they could do awesome or they could flop, but... I don't think there's a middle ground. Yeah, no, I, I, I think, uh, I think it'll be fun. Could be fun. Could be a good time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> why did you, uh, just, why did you sound like that? <laughs> so, so uh, they're getting, they're getting Daphne. Here, you're a Star Wars guy. You'll love this. Uh, Daphne Keen reportedly joins the cast of Star Wars series The Acolyte. Uh, you probably know her as the girl who played X twenty three or Girl Wolverine from the movie Logan. Oh, the little girl. Yeah, well, I mean, she's not a little girl anymore. Oh, yeah. Movie um, was quite a while ago. I mean, she's still <laughs> is a child to me because I'm, you know, however old I am. That's the only but... thing I can imagine, though. I was like, oh, oh, yeah, that little girl. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Her. <laughs> and what is she in? She's going to be in the Star Wars series, The Acolyte. What's The Acolyte? I don't know. It's a fucking Star Wars series, I should man. be up on this. I don't... I... Yeah, you should be. What are you doing? I don't doing? know. Take a second. Ah, uh, man, you got me like... Take a second. Make yourself familiar. I'm trying to make sure I spelled it right. Okay, A C O L Y T E, I, got it, I, I got think. It, I got it, I got it. Okay, so, oh, hold up, hold up. Okay, we holding. Also, oh man. Okay, well, while you're still reading, I'm gonna do another news item that I am fairly certain that you don't have any input on. Okay. Warner Brothers is reportedly looking into developing sequels to the original Harry Potter films. Uh, you know, because nobody can can make it an original. I like Harry Potter. Thing. Do you really? I would not have ever in a million years guessed you were a Harry Potter guy. Well, I wasn't originally. And I started talking to a girl that was into it. And I was like, I'll watch it one day. And then uh, we weren't a thing. And then I started watching, <laughs> started watching it. And then um, I was like, yeah, this is all right. Yeah, it is all right. But, well, they might be making a sequel to those. 
a sequel. They they made sequel, the prequel. A sequel film. Okay, so I'm trying to keep up with you know where we're at. Um, would you would you think of, you would you read about the old the old acolyte? Oh, the acolyte. So I can't tell like where it's actually stated, or I mean, what am I trying to say here? So it takes viewers into a ga- galaxy of shadowy secrets and emerging dark side powers in the final days of the High Republic era. And I'm sitting here trying to think, okay, where wow. is the High Republic era? You telling me about that reminds me that we have talked about that before on this show, and I think I read that exact. I think I read that exact thing to you. I must have been drunk. I think it takes place 100 years before. I think it takes <laughs> oh, place 100 years before talk about the this. first Star Wars. Yeah, we and did I was, talk about and it. And I was like, that sounds dope. Because, like, back in the day, or in, in the Star Wars day, <laughs> like, that's when things were, sh- you know, the Siths kind of ruled, right? You know? Yeah, I guess if you say so. But anyway, Daphne Keene is going to be in that series. Nice. Yeah, and it's, I did see, a, like, a casting picture. Uh, not like her, like, done up in Star Wars gear or whatever, but just... She's like, I don't know, like a teenager, 20s now maybe. Uh, so, yeah, it's not going to be like – she's not going to be a kid in it. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about cocaine, Jackson? Because 120 grams of it was seized from the crew members of Equalizer 3. Can you imagine? They're making an Equalizer 3? What would Denzel <laughs> have to say about that? What would Denzel have to say about that? Like he's been in the game for so long. My like what's man. going on here? Yeah, my, my, my <laughs> man. Uh, Tra- training day, Denzel is like my man. What's up? Yeah, he loves it. He fucking loves that shit. Uh, it's funny. It's funny to me that like I th- this popped up as a headline. I'm like, what? It's like yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, like why were the cops there? It wasn't. They weren't there because they thought there was cocaine there. They were there because like a parking ticket or they were going to serve somebody and they happened upon someone doing cocaine and they're like, hey, listen, we have to... That's a great question. It's like... We're the cops. They were forced to, like, take over the drugs. Like, uh... How much is 120 grams of cocaine? I have no idea. How much does... My Google search history is just a fucking <laughs> absolute nightmare. You don't clear your shit, man? Nah. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, how much does 120 grams of cocaine cost? NCADD.org. How much does cocaine cost, baby? <laughs> <laughs> uh, cocaine was once seen as the illicit substance of choice for wealthy, uh, wealthy owning due to its high street cost. However, in recent years, the price of cocaine has dropped. That's about the only thing. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I had to get that zinger in. How much is a gram of cocaine? Okay. So one gram of cocaine is 120 bucks. 120 times 120. Yeah. It's almost $15,000. So probably, I mean, I'm sure you probably get a kickback on buying in bulk. So it's probably 10 grand. That doesn't even seem like a lot of cocaine for a for Hollywood, Hollywood for a Hollywood thing. Yeah, they're yeah. probably like, "All right, that was just in my pocket." <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know. One hundred twenty grams seems like quite. I have a bit. no idea. I don't know, but anyway, yeah, that's a that's a newsworthy thing. There was, there, can you believe it? There was cocaine on the set of a of a movie. I don't think that's newsworthy for Hollywood. Like, how did I want to know how that happened? It like, showed up on four of my news things that I check. Are they are they trying are they sp- targeting a specific person like are they going after my my guy denzel i mean no no hell no denzel ain't fucking with no cocaine not since the movie flight i haven't watched that one oh man it's fucking good him and john goodman do a bunch of drugs dude Uh, have you ever seen fallen yeah john goodman oh yeah uh wait john goodman's not in fallen uh yeah he is i think so i think you're thinking about mcconaughey no i'm not he's his he's his partner fallen 1998 Good. Oh fuck! He is in it. So is Donald Sutherland. That I told son you, of a man. bitch. You got me. Dude. You got me good. Look, more news. Here okay. it is coming at you. You got me on that thing. Uh, Disney reported they are looking at doing a live action Hercules remake, and they're taking inspiration from TikTok. Uh, I don't have TikTok. How is that a? How is that a? It, I don't know. How would you go like? All right, I'm gonna remake Clash of the Titans, but I'm taking a lot of inspiration from ESPN. Like it how do those two things? How really do those two things up. equate? Yeah, I I don't understand what that means. Maybe he's just doing is there a like bunch a, of, is there like a trend? Maybe he's just doing like TikTok dances. I don't know. That'd maybe be he's weird. Doing, he's doing a hype. Band. I might I well, might watch Fort, it though. That's a Fortnite dance. I don't, I mean I like the story of Hercules. I feel like they've done Hercules a million times, but yeah, they have. At they the same that, time, I feel like they've never done it. They did that one with the Rock. Remember that one? 
Yeah, not not that well because it's not that memorable. But yeah, yeah, no, it's it's really not. I just am saying. <laughs> do you remember that they made it? Uh, so Mads Mikkelsen and Hannibal series creator Brian Fuller reunite for a new horror film called Dust Bunny. The film will be Fuller's directorial debut. I don't know why I just thought of a bunny and it hopping and dust coming off of it, but that's what I thought of when you said that. Okay, well that's uh <laughs> that's what the film's called. Uh, have you ever watched Hannibal? Uh, yeah. Yeah? You, have, did you, you did watch Hannibal? Yeah. Nice. Did you... Like, oh, you mean the you series or the movie? The series. Oh, I haven't watched the series. No. Sorry. Okay. Damn. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I knew it, Jackson. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, it is super fucking creepy. I like creepy. Really, really good. Highly recommend, especially the first season. Uh, so I'm excited about that, man. I mean, uh, Mads Mikkelsen's one of my favorite actors. Uh, this if this guy's he's like one of the creators or the writers for the series that I really really like the first series the first season of it was the best so if he had a hand in that I'm I'm hopeful this uh I don't know how dust bunny is going to be scary though but I'm I'm into it whatever what if it's like a um a giant bunny that's fine I'm fine with that I would be cool with, with like Mads Mikkelsen little, fighting like a big uh, little a T-Rex big, arms a big bunny. practical monster yeah I'm cool with that like its ears does some weird stuff yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> uh, man this whole episode is is basically casting stuff I guess but uh, on that note Lupita Nyong'o has been cast as the lead in a sequel to The Quiet Place you ever seen any of the Quiet Place movies, Jackson? Man, I am so... Yeah, I'm like, like why do you have me on this podcast? I don't know, man. <laughs> you're fun to hang out with, bro. Um, like, but oh, You're like, just trying to like feed me stuff? Like, you watch this? Like, no, man. <laughs> none of these things. <laughs> yeah, none of them. I'm Star Wars, he's seen Star Wars, though. So that's what And we're Harry gonna... Potter. Yeah, and Harry Potter, <laughs> which I wouldn't have guessed. So... I'm like the... an onion. Yeah. Like Shrek. Yeah. You haven't seen many movies. Is the... <laughs> I'm like an onion. I don't watch a lot of movies. <laughs> God damn, that's funny. Uh, okay, so so uh, Lupita Nyong'o, she's fantastic. Big fan of her. A sequel to A Quiet Place? Uh, a more quiet place, I a guess. A quieter place. A quieter place. Is that what it's shh, called? A big shush. What if they put... <laughs> I don't know what it's called. That's... What if they put like dot, 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 shh. That's probably what I would go with. I mean, that would make it more uh, interesting. More casting shit. Uh, William Jackson Harper is rumored to be playing Mr. Fantastic in Ant-Man 3. Uh, personally, I think William Jackson Harper is a great actor, and I would be thrilled to see him take on Reed Richards. I think he could do... I think he could capture the essence of Reed Richards, where he is just a hyper-focused, massive genius, kind of a misogynist. And he's just kind of an asshole. Yeah. Like, you kind of don't like him. You're always kind of rooting for something terrible to happen Against to him. him. Yeah. Yeah, but he's so goddamn good at it. You know, he just, he's. Those are the characters that like, I think of that uh, are really captivating when you don't like them, but you have to watch them. Yep. And it's like, oh, yeah, exactly. I hate watching this, but it's awesome. Well, I think he's a, I think he's <laughs> a great actor, man. So I'm, I'm really excited. I think it's going to go well. Um, but you know, I mean, the same people that are butt hurt about a Black Little Mermaid are going to be upset about no. a, about a Black Mister Fantastic for you know a, a movie they won't go watch. Yeah. So who the nobody fuck cares? cares. Uh, here we go. Here we go. A little box office stuff. Black Adam hit 100 million faster than any DCEU movie since Aquaman, which was not that long ago. Yeah, it's I was, not, I'm kind of confused uh, why this is a headline. I think they're just trying not to, a headline. No, nah, I think they it's were not just, a headline. They were just trying to keep that Black Adam was, shit above water. I'll still watch it, but I'm not going to the theater. I, I mean, I wouldn't. Either. I wasn't really hyped for it because it's coming off the back of a DC's doing this weird thing where they're like, this film's canon, this film's not, and maybe we're wiping them all, and maybe we're starting over, and maybe it's a soft reboot, maybe it's a hard reboot. Oh, DC. And I'm just like, fucking figure it out. And once you guys have it figured out, then I'll sit down and and really really yeah. get into it. Like just not, co- just copying what Marvel did, like build a universe. It's fine. For yeah, real. you can just do it with you can just do it with your shit. It doesn't even really have to be different. You can just do the same thing. Just copy it. It worked. It's different characters. People people check it out. Yeah. Yeah, it's like why recreate the will? Well, they've got they've got James Gunn doing that now for DC, right? And uh, and another guy, his name escapes me, but uh, I think I think they'll really turn that shit around. So anyway, that is all I've got for the news. Thank you very much for tuning in. I uh, appreciate you guys listening to the podcast, telling a friend about the podcast. Uh, do check out the parent podcast. It's just two movies. Episodes are always free on it's just two movies dot com with a ad free feed. Jackson, anything else you'd like to add? 
Oh, this show is super awesome. I have been Daniel King. <laughs> That's been Jackson, and this was the news. That's just grossly inappropriate. Come on, Ed, it's bullcrap! A saucy line will not get you far with me. It's not the facade, it's a very naughty boy! Stop being such a dick. No, no, it, it, it's not schizophrenia. It's just a voice in my head. Your love of the halfling's leap has clearly slowed your mind. Good speech. Nice and short. Leaves more time for drinking. <laughs> Break out the ale! These men are thirsty! Yeah! The Hollywood of Thumb is brought to you by It's Just Two Movies and is a production of Blue Cheese and Bacon Studios. Both can be found wherever you get your podcasts.